Good morning to you. Today we will discuss briefly on the topic of uh, writing proposals for social sciences research. I will take example of submitting research proposals to ICSSR, which is expanded as Indian Council of Social Sciences Research. There are many schemes and you may choose any one of them under ICSSR. For this presentation, I'll be discussing the major and minor, minor project proposal writing. However, the basic philosophy of presentation of proposals remain similar for other funding agencies such as UGC. BBT and other organizations. Therefore, I have chosen this as an example. The objectives of the presentation is, let us take the historical perspective. And what exactly is the funding philosophy of ICSSR? And what kind of a projects they wish to support and what are all the big broad disciplines under which the funding is provided and what should be the structure of my proposal that icssr gives you a structure which we will discuss while going through the presentation and what kind of insights that I can offer for you based on my own experience. What should be my starting point? And your starting point should be a thorough understanding of the sociological or anthropological or economical or any one of the social phenomena that is happening in and around you. It may be pertaining to your district or to state or it may be some international relations. First of all, Make yourself strongly understood uh, You should understand the topic What exactly really fascinates you? Now after having a feel about your topic Let me give you some idea about the funding philosophy. From the inception, ICSSR was headed by scholars of great repute. And there are 1,300 completed research projects and you have extensive bibliographic services provided to the researchers. And this is important because it may not be available everywhere. In any general library, you may not find what you require there. Now, let me give you some idea about Professor Andre Bentley, who has told that knowledge, I have added social sciences, is created by discussion, debates, and arguments rather than in an orderly fashion. It is not a linear process. Topics should rise debates and arguments 
to find a policy to solutions to dilemmas faced in social sciences. This is a very important point that he is making that you should be able to really understand what kind of dilemmas are happening at the intersection of sociological, anthropological, economic, biological and climate related areas that intersect in order to give rise to some kind of policy recommendations so that the society will be better than what it is. Now some facts I would like to share with you. The research grant is direct financial support to the research projects undertaken by the Indian social scientists. What does it mean? This means it will be directly provided to the social scientists. They may be professors who are less than 70 years or civil, civil servants, both current and retired. This is very important because much of the research in Indian anthropology was conducted by ICS officers before independence. Therefore, the focus is mostly on the individual competence to address the social issues and provide research output. Now there are three dimensions of research that is given in the website. The first one is theoretical rigor. You have to have an extensive study on the issues. Probably it may not be in your district or university or in the international relations. And there should be a conceptual clarity for you. What kind of a theoretical stream you are undertaking, you should know clearly. And most important, the methodological basis. If these three things are combined, and it should give rise to policy implications. What is the present policy? If it is present, if the present policy is present, what kind of a changes you can mean? you can do. Therefore, there is a strong emphasis on methodology that leads to policy recommendations or guidelines for the center, state or other institutions. Uh, I wish you to go through the video of Andre Battle, uh, his talk at Azim Premji University or Democracy of Our Times. By listening to his talk, you, you will have a feel of how the social scientists address, address some of the major burning issues of the country. Now what happens is, where do I get all this information? Oh, it, there is enormous bibliographical articles, books, proceedings, theses and research reports are available at NASDOC, this is NASDOC and Probably by clicking on these uh, websites, you can you can really understand, uh, find them, or you may write to them, request them for information. You may also request data from India Stat and Proves IQ. Excellent sources, very authentic sources, by sending a request for them. Your question is to whom I have to send the request. Please do write to officer 
given here Mr. Ramesh is presently the director. Probably you can directly address to him. And they are highly helpful. And the kind of information they send you, sometimes for a small amount, they send you the complete information, which will really help you to complete your basic literature review. Generally, there are two categories of projects, and that is based on time and budgets. The major projects are duration for 24 months with a budget of 5 to 5 lakhs, and minor project will be for 12 months, budget up to 5 lakhs. These, the different heads of your project and budget details are given in the website. Remember, you need to check your accounts by a chartered accountant, and you need not go through your own university procedures, but for the customary approvals. The professor, known as the director, who is applying will get the money in his name and accounts to be handled according to the various norms given by the government. Please do not include any item of capital nature. It is for the institute to provide. Needless to emphasize honesty values and prudence in financial issues will always help you to get the project and sustain funding for various other projects which you are likely to undertake. The broad disciplines under which you can get funding is on sociology and social anthropology, political science, public administration, economics, international studies, social geography and population studies, social psychology, commerce and management, education, social linguistics, Socio-cultural studies, law, international law, and national security and strategic studies, and various other elite social sciences disciplines such as library, social work, media studies, health studies, gender studies, social history, and environmental studies, diaspora studies. You name the important discipline, you will find all of them over here. Now, after having a feel about the issues that are surrounding you and you are district or in state or in our country, you may meet the district collector to find the issues relating to the district. This district collector will provide a lot of information that will be highly useful to you. You may also take his or her help to get your required permission. Maybe a tough challenge, a challenging one, but still it is worth doing it. Find similar studies going across country or in any other country. Many of the poverty studies you'll be finding it in, uh, in Africa and in South America and other areas. Try to find out all of them. And then try to fix a title. Uh, watch you are going to study and it should represent precisely what you are going to do. Probably I will stop at this point so that we will continue further next.